Hi, I'm Cindy Hooper. I live in Ottawa. I'm a mom of two boys, an avid triathlete, and married to John, an anesthetist and critical care doc at the Ottawa Hospital. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in January 2013. We were terrified. The five-year survival rate is only 10%, and we couldn't find anyone, real or through the internet, that had survived this cancer beyond two years. My first year after diagnosis was filled with a 10-hour surgery called Whipples, 18 rounds of chemotherapy, 28 days of radiation, and much hope that I'd survive the year. I also completed Ironman Canada between rounds of chemotherapy. A four kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike, and then a marathon. It took 16 hours and 38 minutes, raised a lot of media attention, and $50,000 for cancer research. This was the beginning of my fundraising efforts. As I approached two years survival, shocked, but extremely grateful that I'd made it, I felt a strong desire to give back. I remembered what it felt like to not be able to find anyone who had survived this cancer beyond two years. I became more active on social media to get my story out there. Now it feels incredible to be in contact with hundreds of people all over the world to whom I've given hope that they too can beat the odds. I pulled together my family and friends to form a team to walk or run at Ottawa Race Weekend and raise money for cancer research at the Ottawa Hospital. Our team name is MEMC Crew, make every moment count. We have just reached the incredible milestone of raising $500,000. Unfortunately, a year ago, my cancer metastasized to my left lung, one rib, and my T5 spine, and I became stage four palliative. My cancer was being controlled with chemotherapy, but four months ago, it started to spread in my left lung, and I was given a new prognosis of only six months to live. My oncologist suggested it was time to start looking at clinical trials. We were game to try anything. Thankfully, I'd had molecular testing done a couple of years ago, it cost $2,500 for me, but it revealed that I had a crass gene mutation. My oncologist felt a trial targeting this mutation would be my best option. She gave us the name of three trials, the bad news that none of them were in Canada, and John and I began our search. We researched which cancers in the United States were holding the trials and which trial was having the best results. We sent my medical history and reports, a painstaking process, to eight cancer centers in the States. We traveled to two centers to meet the principal investigators, hoping that it might increase my chances of getting into a trial. I went to social media with my plea to try to get into a trial years of sharing my story of hope for others, now returned good karma, and after six weeks of hard work, I was able to get into my trial of choice at Next Oncology in Fairfax, Virginia. This process of starting on a trial would have been so much easier if one had been available in Canada. I started the trial on January 4th. In the eight weeks since, I've spent seven days at the Fairfax Clinic. Six trips back and forth, a nine hour drive each way or a flight back and forth to Washington DC. Lots of traveling, it's extremely exhausting and the cost so far is $15,000. Taking part on a clinical trial would have been so much easier if one was available in Canada. I don't know why there aren't any crass trials targeting pancreatic cancer stage four in Canada. I do know that this trial is offering me hope as well as 30 others at the clinic and has made me feel better than I did in December and January. I have a CT scan in three days to hopefully find out that my cancer is stable or maybe even getting smaller and giving me a chance to live several more months in this beautiful life. Thank you for listening.